Hello, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Build Chase in the Movies. And this is a big catch-up week as I've been gone for the last few weeks because uh, problems with the computer and circumstances that have not allowed me to do the show. So here we go. Let's get right to it because I got 16 yeah, to review this week. And the first film I'm reviewing is the Trailer Park Boys Countdown to Liquor Day. And this is the second film sprung from the immensely popular Canadian TV series about three scheming maritimers whose hijinks don't always work, but sometimes the results prove to be better than they deserve to be. The Trailer Park Boys phenomenon took off big time in 2001 when the series debuted on Showcase here in Canada. Its off-color humor and natural wit and perhaps some of the all-time greatest, best, and most creative uses of the F-bomb have made it a true part of Canadian popular culture, turning it from a cult, cult favorite to a national pastime. With three very different yet many times very similar friends, the hor led by the horribly dim-witted yet occasionally quick-thinking Ricky, played by Rob Wells, the usually smart but sometimes not quick enough thinking Julian, played by Jean-Paul Tremblay, and of course the kitty-loving, coke bottle glasses wearing foul mouth Bubbles, who compared to the other two is probably the most clean cut. He's played by Mike Smith. Of course on the show they battled with their adversary, a disgraced ex-cop, a drunk by the name of Jim Leahy, and his big gutted assistant Randy, who supervised the trailer park that they live in. Sunnyvale, of course. For seven seasons the ending was almost the same at the end of each season. The boys always ended up in jail, but sometimes with a creative new twist of how they ended up there. But now, almost taking off where the series left off, Ricky, Bubbles, and Julian are out of jail, but things this time have changed more than ever. The usually drunk Jim Leahy is now clean-cut and sober and living the high life in a luxury trailer. While the park itself has gone down the crapper, Bubbles' kitties have been sent to the animal shelter, and you just don't do that to Bubbles. But the boys who promised to go straight, <laughs> yeah, right, have revenge on their minds, and when they when Leahy gets back to drinking again, the war is on. If you're searching for any depth or meaning in this film, you're looking in the wrong place. I'm merely I'm merely recommending this film to the fans of the show, and since I am one, I laughed hysterically. I don't even think this film was quite as funny as the 2006 film subtitled The Big Dirty, but yet after a lackluster final season, the boys do their best to keep it going full throttle. Wells, Trombley, and Smith haven't lost their touch. And John Dunsworth willing to do anything to embarrass himself for the role of Jim Leahy, make this movie fun for all fans of the show. This isn't even the best comedy of the year. It's not even close, in my opinion. But still, I laughed hysterically over and over. So, to fans of the show, I'll recommend it, but I would recommend this to a good chunk of other people, so don't blame me if you go see it and you hated it. This is definitely an acquired taste. So, three and a half stars out of five for the Trailer Park Boys Countdown to Liquor Day.